Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to close out February and just start fresh in March because tomorrow is March 1st. Today is February 28th and a lot of things happening and uh, I need to get it all straight in my head before I move forward and find out what's in the buffer of the checking account. Um, do I need to put any money into savings? Did we, where did we overspend at? And the reasons why. Um, that's always important to me. So let's go ahead and dive into the numbers and get started. I'm going to pop out my weekly check-in pages. I'm going to pop out my calendar that goes along with it. Um, I'm not going to go over my logs because I did that last time, but I am going to close out paycheck three and, and close out the month of February. And I will be looking at um, my uh, credit card log and explaining a few things with that. So let's get started. Okay, I'm back. So here is the calendar for my weekly check-in. I need to write a few more expense stickers here. And I usually use this Frixon um, 038 because it writes real small and I have large handwriting and it keeps me from just being ultra messy. <laughs> ultra, ultra messy, I guess you can say. So I did go to Walmart today. I had to go to the grocery store and make some purchases. So yeah, here's the receipt. There we go. Lots of purchases. It says $322.39, but I actually divided the receipt up and I don't know how well you can see this on camera. Let me see a little closer here. Um, but you can see the green highlight there. Those are the items that I highlighted that are miscellaneous stuff that I wanted to go ahead and kind of separate because the rest of it was groceries. I bought a lot of meats today, so we have plenty of meals and then um, some other things that we just needed to catch up on. And um, as far as groceries, you know, my husband's back, my kids, um, you know, it, well, my sons, I shouldn't say kids, my sons, because they are adults. They're not kids anymore. But <laughs> My sons and, you know, all of us trying to get us all taken care of um, and buying things that they need. I have an older son that takes specific over-the-counter medications that are like $20 a pop. Um, he has dry mouth issues, so we buy the Biotin. Um, we buy the name brand because he doesn't like the taste of the off-brand. So, you know, we're like, okay, if if it keeps you taking it, then we'll spend a little extra. And he gives us money every month anyway in rent, so that covers that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and write down the grocery and the miscellaneous. So I took that number and basically when I do, and I rarely do this, when I do go to one big one store and buy groceries and other items, um, miscellaneous stuff, stationary stuff, paper, whatever, other stuff that I want, um, like today, I actually bought two pairs of jeans that were $18. I bought uh, a Sharpie pens. My husband wanted them, so I went ahead and bought them. And then I bought this, let's see if I can get it over here. I thought these were so cute and I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for, but I thought these little zipper pouches were adorable and they kind of went with everything else that I had. <laughs> so it was a little impulse buy. I think it was $2.99 or, or $2.29 or something. And then I needed a file folder. Um, I wanted one upstairs here, so this is what I bought, and it was this light pinky peach color. And I just like the way it looked. I'm gonna put our tax return in here and um, put January and February's bills in there and things like that, and just have a complex, compact place to put it because I do not wanna bring filing cabinets up into my office on the second floor of my house, and no, I'd rather carry a little thing like that. So I bought stuff like that, office supplies, mailers, um, card stock, something else, and I can't figure out what this is, but I'm sure once I see it, I'll recognize it. But anyways, I pulled those numbers out, I totaled them up, and I rounded it up, and it came up to $64 for miscellaneous. So I'm gonna put $64 miscellaneous. I didn't mean to put that decimal there. You probably can't even see this, but I just want to get these numbers written down. And then the rest of the purchase is, do I have that written down? I thought I did. Maybe not. Anyway, so I totaled up all the highlighted items, and then I'm going to take the number 64, and I'm going to subtract it to the total. Now, I don't really take in consideration any tax or anything like that because, you know, that basically comes out in the wash in the end. And since most of these items on here um, 
or were grocery health, grocery household stuff and not the miscellaneous stuff. I didn't mind the tax being on that side, so I don't even go and look for it. And they have it right here. It was like $10 in tax, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, minus the 64, and that gives me grocery household of $258.39. Both of these are Walmart. And I'm just gonna put the word split. And I know when I write split, split, it's a split receipt with another category. And the only other category it would be split with is um, grocery household. Um, that's because you're not gonna split with gas or restaurants. <laughs> so that's kind of simple for me. And that's how I'm tracking that. Um, here we go. Now this is money that came out of the checking account. So, and we're gonna make a few more changes next month. Um, we discovered, and I never really paid attention when I use our credit card or what rewards we get with our credit card. I knew every year I could cash it out for $150 to $200 in points, and that's mostly just, you know, putting a little bit on and paying it and take, you know, paying it off every month. But I, there was some advertisements with my bank and it said gas was like three times the points. And I think in restaurants was two times the points or vice versa. I can't really remember off the top of my head. And we're with Navy Federal Credit Union. So we have a rewards card and I want to take advantage of those points. So restaurants and gas might be done a little bit different next month. Haven't quite figured out exactly how that's going to be done but we will be doing it now why did i grab the blue one the pink is groceries now when i highlight my highlight key is over here and green is miscellaneous and pink is restaurants now i have two more things i need to put because when i went out to the chiropractor this morning um to get an adjustment uh I also stopped next door to Pronera and and go ahead and take uh, get something to eat and take my medication. I have to take a specific medication for my diabetes, and um, I had waited long enough to take it. And um, I don't take it first thing in the morning. I have to wake up a little bit. I drop my son off at school. I actually take a neuropathy pain medication for my feet and hands, and that goes first in my body and I don't really, I drink water, I drink plenty of water, like eight ounces to up to 20 ounces in the morning. And then I start eating food and then, and with my medication, I have to take, um, I need uh, either food or milk to take with it. And my neuropathy medication is interfered with milk and I love milk. So if you <laughs> saw my grocery thing, I bought four gallons of milk. We just love milk in this house. So yeah, so I went to Panera. Bread. And spent $12. And I wonder what that is. I don't have that out in front of me. $12 and some change. Got to find my restaurant log. And then my husband had a business meeting this morning and he went shopping for work clothes afterwards. And on his way home, I told him, I stopped and got something to eat today. Why don't you stop and get lunch? Because I'm not hungry because I ate late enough. Um, so he stopped at Arby's, which is one of his favorite places, fast food. <laughs> B-Y-S. And if you looked at our old videos, you would see that Arby's was one of the regular go-to places. And I, I'm okay with it, but it's not my favorite. And 14. There we go. $12 14 cents. He got large everything, and that's just who he is. And we are good to go. I tried to eat healthier at Panera <laughs> while I was there instead of um, you know what he got at Arby's, but yeah, I'm not gonna stop him there. Let's see, there's that, and that is the spending for today. That's a lot of spending, not normal for to us on today, but it's the end of the month and you know it sneaks up on you when it's on the 28th and you think you still have a couple more days in the month and it's February. So that kind of happened. So restaurants in blue and now we can finish checking off. We had a lot of restaurants um, this weekend. You're also going to see it on a credit card log. Um, so we will get into that. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. 
you're going to see these better. And I got to find my sticky note. Where's it at? I have a sticky note that I write this stuff on and I can't find it. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I found my sticky note <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and get in this and just pull these two pages. I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Now I had a no spend on Saturday though. It's kind of a lie because we did go out to eat, but we just put it on the credit card. It was our expensive dinner night and you know, we get extra points if we put it on the credit card. Of course, when we ate out today, we forgot about it. <laughs> We're new to this, I you know, put, getting, working the points on our credit card, but um, I decided, you know, that's okay. Um, plenty of it went on Saturday night. So I'm still going to count this as a no spend because the money didn't actually come out of the categories but it did come out of the check you know it will come out of the buffer of the checking account so um the only grocery is a uh, household that we have is today and i just stocked up on a lot of stuff and got as many meats as i could <laughs> i have to tell you i'm quite disappointed in walmart and they're really going south fast even the nicest one that i know of in my area it's really not good so um, especially their produce. It really does not, ugh, it looked gross. So anyways, two fifty eight thirty nine. Again, this is split with miscellaneous on the receipt, but this is what grocery household looked like. Um, and that is the only thing we really have. Now this is last week. This is, um, today. So I kind of have them a little out of order, but restaurants is most of the rest of this. And then one miscellaneous. So restaurants, we got, I'm gonna start down here. So we had points saved up for our um, why not. And so that was only 29.47. And then my son's got Papa John's. We got pizza, but two different places. But if we buy it all at Papa John's, it's still the same price. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, 29.04, I have enough next time I think to use Papa Rewards. So that'll be cool. And we'll probably eat it all together next time. <clears throat> and then uh Arby's was 12.14 and then Panera was 12.79. Okay. So those four are our restaurants. So let's total that up. Let's see, 29.44 plus 29.04 plus 12.14 plus 12. 79 enter okay so that total there is still 73 dollars 41 cents with my husband home that's pretty good not including the special dinner on saturday which was whoo -hoo, a lot um let's see and so let's mark off all of that and then the last thing we have is miscellaneous i have no unbudgeted um 64 dollars Everything that could have gone unbudgeted actually went on the credit card and we want to take care of it later. I My husband got my printer fixed and I can start doing stickers again for myself and I'm so excited. I've already done some script stickers. I kind of like this font here um, and things like that. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, we're moving on. We're, what we're doing is we're doing the weekly check-in to close out the budget for uh, February. And so the last few days from the 25th through the 28th, I had a budget of what was left over in the spending categories here. And this is what's left. So if you were doing a cash envelope kind of thing, you know, obviously you would have to find cash to pay all this, but um, spending um, 258.39, you know, I could have waited one day and this would have gone on March's budget, but uh, I knew I had plenty in the, um, what do you call it? The leftover overtime from this month. I haven't moved it yet and we're not sure what to do with it. And we're just going to see what the, the leftover overtime is going to be the balance forward going into March. And then March will decide where it's really going to go. So that was sitting there and that's what's in the account kind of covering all this extra. And if the spending categories can't uh, cover all this. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have, 7311. And then miscellaneous, I have um, 64. 
I have zero for gas. Now, gas, I actually, my husband spent and he remembered to put it on the credit card so we can get the points. So that will be taken out of the buffer, which is what's left over of this, uh, this and what's sitting in the checking account. So it doesn't really, it matters, but it doesn't really matter. It matters to keep it in check, but it doesn't really matter because I know the cash is sitting there. Uh, whether I took, did it on the debit card or whether we did it with the checking account, um, but going forward next month, we'll do something different and I will tell you how that works next month because <laughs> we're sure, not sure exactly how we're going to do it. Um, and unbudgeted, nothing. So let's total up what we actually spent here on screen. Okay. 258.39 plus 73.11 plus 64 enter okay so looks like we are doing good that is 395 dollars and 50 cents now that is less than what these this total is here so that means what we actually pulled out of the checking account in um, charges is covered by all the spending categories combined so that is good. We didn't have to use the buffer of the checking account at all, and we still had some money left over. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll take that answer. We'll subtract the four seventy nine ninety five. It'll give a negative number, but that's okay. That's the amount that this adds up to and should total, if I did my math right. So eighty four forty five. Just drop the negative. All right, so let's see where we're over budget in the specific categories. And that's what I really want to know right here is the specific categories. Um, and talk a little bit about when you're over budget, what does that really mean? Okay, so um, let's take the grocery household. I only gave myself $150. $51.34. Now, if I was a cash spender, that is what I would have had in a cash envelope to go to the grocery store, and that was it. And that's fine. Perfect way to keep things kind of in check. But I knew I wanted to make the choice to go ahead and buy some things because I did not want to go out to the store again later this week. I have too much to do and um, not enough time to go every other day and wait for a paycheck or whatever. So because the money was in the checking account, I went ahead and rolled with it, got it all today, and I don't have to worry about it later this week. And that's the point of doing this. And because I knew I had the actual cash, it's not that big a deal, but it does overdraw me in this. So minus the 258.39. Now, if I was not aware of how much cash I had in the buffer of my checking account and it couldn't be covered and things like that and I did that, then I would have to go, Lisa, what are you doing and why are you spending this way? Because something is not right. And that could be an emotional thing, that could be trauma, that could be um, you're just really happy and giddy, you know, your spouse comes home and you're wanting to shop and it just feels really good. Um, or you're worried about things going on in the world. I am right now. I know a lot of people are. And if you are a person who prays, you know, obviously pray for what's going over in Europe. And um, we have somebody in our church that's stuck over there. So uh, it's been heavy for me. <laughs> and so if I'm off on my videos, if I cannot do things, if I miss something, I will be back. Just give me a little time to process and get through what's going on in the world. So, um, but moving on from that, before I start getting emotional, I'm going to go ahead and write this number down. So it's negative 10705. And I'm sorry about my stuffy nose today. And then my restaurants, I had plenty of money in that. I knew I would. Um, but we did put the restaurant, the big expensive restaurant on the credit card. So basically this covered the extras for the groceries and then the buffer is going to take care of the diner, di dinner experience that we had when we went out. So clear this, uh, 284, though this could have covered our dinner night out. I just, because we put on the credit card, it's a little bit different. So I, I, uh, do it differently. Uh, 73.11. So it's 211.14. I'm sorry, 64. Where did I get 14 from? 
<sighs> See, my back, my brain is like, I can't even talk. I'm scatterbrained. Just having a hard time focusing. All right, so let's get this going. Um, clear that out. I had a negative 121.91, and I'm gonna take 64 more dollars out. I know it doesn't do math like that, but you know, it just tells me how much over I'm I'm in a category. And knowing I have the cash, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, negative 185.91. Of course, if you had a cash envelope, you wouldn't do this kind of sneaky sneak. Um, but I'm giving myself permission and grace to do this. Um, so I don't have to go back out later. And then we have, let's see, 165.77. All right, so I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna start with the bottom number here and I'm gonna work my way up. So I wanna start with a positive number and see um, that way it's easier for the math on the calculator. At least for me it is. Let's see, 165.77 minus the 185.91 plus the 211.64 minus the 107.05 and that gives me $84.45. So going down and across, check and check. So weekly check-in is done. I can move this to the side and we are good to go here. Um, so when I go to my budget sheet for the paycheck budgeting, I got stuff on top of it. To close out paycheck three, I will be including, let's see, the numbers spent here in paycheck four and five. And that total but I should be ending with this balance here um, off to the side. So I got to get the totals from these two weeks combined and then put that here. And then I will have these totals here at the bottom over here. So that's what we're going to do there. So here's my paycheck three. There's the top. Now I'm not going to do all the math and show you all that, but I will go ahead and put the numbers in because I have a spreadsheet that actually calculates all this for me. So I know exactly how much grocery household for the pay period and the miscellaneous and the gasoline and all that. So um, I did put have my husband's VA education come in kind of later. I was going to put my Roth in and then I had to take it back out because they weren't ready for what's taking so long is the guy that we want to do this is um, his, a friend of ours from the Navy, amazing guy. We want to support him and his family, and we love him. And he's working on getting his license for Virginia. Now, he lives in Florida, but he has licenses in 12 states. He works for New York Life, and we love him. And um, we really want him to be in the, uh, you know, this being his account, and he take care of us. But... Um, he uh, the red tape he's having to go through with Virginia is making it hard for him to get the license. So we're just trying to put it off until he gets it. If he doesn't get it by April, then somebody else will step up and um, set up the account for me and then we'll just move on from there because I can't wait much longer. So here we go. Um, but the VA education, my husband's classes started. He started his classes and then he got a deposit, a partial deposit, and then next month you'll see the rest of it come in. Now on the budget for next month, um, the one video I already posted for the monthly budget. Um, I didn't know the number. I know the number now. So when we do paycheck one for March, you'll see that number. So I lost my calculator. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. All right. What we need to do is kind of move the budget over because the budgeting numbers don't matter. <laughs> they really don't at this point. It's the actual numbers that matter. So we're going to, I know you can't see the names, but we're going to go ahead and kind of get all this on screen and total what we balance forward from paycheck two to paycheck three, which was uh, $534 and 62 cents. And then um, salary overtime total was 400 or geez, $4,785 and 44 cents. 
and then we had the $250 VA education deposit. Boom. All right, the new number here, I'm gonna move that off to the side, is $5,570 and six cents. Did I put down, oh, oof. I don't think my husband's moved his money over. Did it get deposited? Did he move it over? I will double check that later. So I have to go in the bank and I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to run the numbers as if he didn't because I did not make a note of that. I made a note of the deposit, but not the transfer. And I think that's a good thing because I can have him transfer it on the first when all the other paychecks come in tomorrow. I see all the pending deposits right now. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so now I need to total, or now I need to put down here the totals for the grocery household, in my calculator here, grocery household, restaurants, miscellaneous, and gasoline, um, and for this paycheck period. So that was $462.57. Again, that was week three, oops, three and four on my weekly check-in combined. Um, and as you can see, it's over. It looks pretty close to what I thought, what I wrote was over, so that's fine. Um, restaurants, I have $157.48. Sorry, 48 cents. And then I normally have my paper angled, but I don't right now, so it's hard to write. Um, $305. And 75 cents. All right, gasoline is zero for this time period. Is that right? Uh, yep, that's right. Okay, so let me move my spreadsheet here. Um, I have this $80.94 to get a CPAP mask for my husband because he still is working on his appointment to get his medical uh, supplies for a CPAP machine and get the, the prescription and all the good things. So there is that. All right, now that I have this, I'm gonna slide this over again so I can get all the numbers and the calculator on here. So we are going to, let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna total these numbers up and I will be right back. <music> Okay, so there we go. That is where we're at. Um, let me look at my uh, spreadsheet here. We have $3,582.28 and uh, 28 cents, and that says 33 cents. I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. So that's a few pennies off. I will double check what my spreadsheet has in this later. And if there's any corrections, I will let you guys know that in the next video. Now, I do want to put one more line item here, which is going to be the addition for some spending today. You know what? I will show you in the next video because that will be complicated. So I'm just going to leave it here and um, go ahead and take this number and subtract this from this 5000 $570.06. Because uh, I don't want this video to be too crazy long or anything like this. So I am showing here that we have left over, well, I need to put that number down, 3,582.28. And, and there's a nickel or something different here. So I'm going to have to check that out in a minute. Um, and then $1,000. Is what is left over. It's very close to what I have on here. That says one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven dollars and seventy-three cents. So there is a nickel difference or something, some, or not nickel, but uh, let's see, nineteen eighty-seven point seventy-three five. So yeah, nickel. 
I was right. There's a nickel difference, and I'm not sure what it is. I probably just hit a number wrong, which happens all the right time, or I don't have enough. Sometimes the double numbers, I don't actually get both typed in. So on this calculator, I might have to find something new. All right, so, but I will make the correction if there needs to be a change. Um, I'm trying to find 73. Okay, well, this is the number my bank account just said before I logged on here. So obviously I wrote a nickel somewhere wrong. And let me go ahead and correct that number then. <laughs> So this should be, uh, since my bank account and my spreadsheet are a lot more accurate than my typing, um, so this should be 33, and this should be 73. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and make the change. Why not? All right, um, I did not put the numbers here, but we can do the math really quick on this. Um, the 355.52, oops, minus the 462.52, 107. That is kind of where, that should be 107. Okay, I am back. It looks like I found the nickel issue. I'm five cents off on these numbers here. So... <laughs> Um, did I write the wrong number? Yes, I did. It was, I wrote a two instead of a seven. That's why I was a nickel off. See, you know, just give yourself a breather and you'll find the difference. If you start hearing my printer printing in the background, I do apologize. I don't know what's going on with it. It's the one I'm worried about um, because it died while my husband was gone. It started working again and I'm hoping it will stay online. So anyways, um, that is negative 107.05. I'm having it do a test print right now. And hoping to keep it active and not die on me so much. All right, so here, uh, 358.79 minus the 157.48, and that's 201.31. And that is what we had in the weekly check-in. Um, and then I have the overage in um, miscellaneous, 119.84 minus the 305.75, and that gives us negative 185.91. Five. And then we I don't even need the calculator for this, so that's 165.77. So that just, I only use the over under column here just to show me where I'm over, where I'm under, especially in my bills. If there are big changes in the bills, I, I'm expecting big changes here because I'm consciously spending and making decisions on the spending. But um, here is, you know, there's a due date, there's a plan, you know, why was it different than what I expected? Why did it go up? Why did it go down? Things like that. Um, and I know what this visa is and why it went up a little higher than I thought it was going to because we intentionally spent, um, we got Norton for my husband's computer uh, security stuff. And we're going to, we're just about to purchase uh, VPNs security as well to beef up the security for our um devices and stuff so um yeah we went to cnet.com and they have the best top of the line recommendations so that's where we're getting our information from if you're looking for something like that um this was 250 over and i owe my husband 250 dollars, but i'm gonna have him take it out tomorrow or i might have him take it out today along with tomorrow it doesn't matter anyways tomorrow i'll have him take it out tomorrow when his second half of his va education deposit goes through and that way you can pull it all out together at once and that will work so this is the buffer of the checking account <laughs> Whew. all to say that to say this is the buffer checking account, $1,987.73. That has to do mostly with the overtime my husband earned. There it goes again. Sorry about that, guys. And we just didn't move any money for that. So we're going to create 
pass this or balance this forward into uh, March 1st, you'll see that. And then we'll make decisions on where this is going. We're thinking vacation stuff. We're thinking all kinds of things. Uh, tax returns, are, uh, taxes have been done. Taxes returns will be coming in. Um, they say 21 days, but who knows when they'll actually come in. So um, things like that. Um, let me get my notebook back together and um, oh before I do that I do have one other thing I wanted to show you and you're gonna be like whoa <laughs> now I've already counted up my YouTube savings challenge and I don't know if you guys know what that is but I will show you the YouTube savings challenge uh, that I did for myself essentially there you go the YouTube savings challenge. If you're not seeing this, I, for d part of December, all of January, and all of February, this is a challenge I created for myself. Um, all you had to do was like, comment, and subscribe. And for every like I got on my videos, for all the videos of February, um, I will save a dollar for every, another reason why I didn't move any money at the end of the month. Uh, for every comment, I will save $2. And every um, new subscriber, ignore this because I that that went out the window a long time ago. Um, every new subscriber, I will save five dollars. And obviously, I have enough in the buffer to checking account to save all this money um, based on how you got how active you guys are on my channel. And um, it's been an amazing ride. Um, this is the last month I'm doing all three of those amounts, but. Um, yeah, that was just amazing. So what I was going to do is purchase, and here's my cash envelope. Look at this. YouTube Savings Challenge for my YouTube channel. The first thing I'm purchasing because you guys inspired me to save. And I'm going to have two different kinds of money here just because I mostly do everything electronic. I have play money and then I have this. So as of today, or as of uh, Saturday, um, cause I haven't counted the most recent stuff. Um, at first, um, in January or I should say, yeah, January for December's deposit, I did $180 for February 1st for January's, um, savings challenge. I'm not even on screen guys. Sorry. Uh, $441. So total here in actual cash is $600. And twenty-one dollars. These are all fifties. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-one. So six twenty-one. And what I needed was nine oh one or something like that. So to finish it off. And so here's the play money because it's all in the bank right now. 100, 250, 60, 70, 85. That is what I had as of the 26th of um, 26th of February. So that was pretty much the end of the month. And so um, I got to double check and see if there's a few more dollars going in. But going forward, I'm going to use play money instead of actual cash because I do not like getting cash out of the bank. I don't like going to the bank. I don't enjoy it. And as you can see, I'm horrible at sharing, showing cash on camera. <laughs> I can't even get it in the frame. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, this is um, the cash. And then I'm also saving this from what's left over. It's going to come out March 1st. And it is going to go pay my credit card because as I show you my credit card log, I log everything that goes on my credit card. All right, I had it paid off. These are the regular bills. I only have one Norton bill. That's a new subscription that will be coming up annually. And I'm going to save for it on my um, sinking funds and then pay the credit card with it. But this will pop up. It's, it was a special for $19.99. And then each year after that, it's like $65 or something like that. Um, so I had paid it off. And then I purchased a vlogging camera. It's a Sony uh, V1 something, something, I don't know. I can't remember. It's a Sony vlogging camera. Um, it's meant for co content creators and YouTube. It's very light. It's compact. It's very cool looking. And it had to be something I could use and my husband can use. So it's going to be a dual purpose camera. I'm going to use it mostly to film these videos with, so I don't have to keep using my phone. 
And then I purchased, um, because these two were purchased in a bundle together, but they were charged separately. Um, this was an accessory to that camera at Sony as well. And it's like a, a mini tripod that's about like this tall or so. I don't know, not, not very tall. Um, that could be on a desk or in the corner or something like that. But on the, can on the um, actual piece, I wish I had a picture of it. On the actual piece, I'll do an unboxing. That's what I'll do. On the actual piece of the tripod, you can actually um, zoom in, zoom out, and things like that. Um, take pictures, um, start filming, or whatever. It has a remote on it, and I thought, that's really cool. So, I need to finish the math. I obviously did not finish the math here. Um, let's see. So, my, this is what happened. So, that's what we purchased here, those two. And that was 900 um, that's where I got the $901. I just kind of rounded it up. I needed $901 for the YouTube Savings Challenge, and I have succeeded in that because I've gone past that. And we'll start with this. I'm going to say March 1st, 22, deposit of this amount because I've got to put all this cash back in the bank and then um, pay the credit card. So 100, 250, 60, 70, 85. So 200, 285. Obviously this is play money. This is actually already in the bank. Um, so 261 plus the 285. And then whatever extra watches or extra um, subscribers or any um, videos, with comments and stuff like that on it um, above this for, above Saturday then I'll add the difference in that so that's uh, 906 and when I go to pay the credit card I will subtract out the 901 and that just leaves five dollars in this YouTube savings challenge and going forward I think I'm going to count up the likes that's the easiest thing to do as a dollar because you know the available cash that we actually have we need to stay in check with that and um, i'm not sure what i want to buy next <laughs> for my youtube channel so um, i'm just going to make it simple and only the likes will count um, going forward in march so thank you guys so much for inspiring me in this and i had a lot of fun chatting with you guys and you guys just encouraged me so much um, the Butcher Son, that was our date night dinner out. Now, $26 of this was actually a tip, and the rest of it was um, the dinner. I think it was $133, and we got appetizer, and we got two dinner plates, and everything was outrageously priced. What I paid $36 before meal, I got, um, it was now $45. And we were already there and we're like, well, we still love it. And for once in a while, I guess it's okay, but we might think twice <laughs> next time because that's a lot of money. Um, we don't mind giving a large tip. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, I wanted to give a little bit more. Uh, my husband tipped and, um, and that's okay. So um, he just takes the amount and multiplies it by 20% and then rounds up. So that's kind of how we do that. And let's see, 511. My husband went and got work clothes today, um, a couple shirts and stuff. Um, he buys specific clothes that have flame retardant in it because he works on ships. And so it's very important to him to have something that like the Navy uniform has um, flame retardants in it as well. He wants to have his clothes that way too. So that's that. So, and then he went to Wawa and got gas. Like I said, we're getting used to adding points and taking advantage of the points since we have been keeping our paid our credit card paid off. I have the cash to pay for all of this. I just haven't done it yet. And that you will see that in March. Um, once I figure out the money in March. Um, so there's that. 12.04... 32. I had the number earlier and I realized I subtracted what I was supposed to add. So 38.79. There we go. So I owe 12.43.11. There we go. 
that's better. For <laughs> some reason, I subtracted that number, and that's the right number. And so I owe 124311, and we have available credit 22,756.89. Um, we never max that out anymore. We lived uh, for so 15, 20 years with that maxed out. And um, we could have bought a car with the interest we paid on that. It's ridiculous. Um, I just, uh, I'm so, I was so sick of myself after I realized that. So, um, but because the cutoff date is the 26th at my bank account, all these charges on the 26th and later, or actually even these charges here on the 25th, and because the due date is the 24th. So I think anything after the 24th, 25th going forward, um, will not accrue anything until the next month. I don't know. It's a weird way of way they work it out. Um, so right now it says we owe nothing. Um, and a lot of these charges are actually pending still processing. So they haven't completely gone through yet, even though we already got the accessory. I should have the camera March 3rd or 4th or something like that. So the weekend after that, I will just do a video unboxing and show you what I got and um, bear with me as I learn to use it. <laughs> so I've used my phone for over a year now. I don't know how to use anything else. So that is that. I'm gonna get my notebook and we'll close the video. Okay, that is it. This is the weekly check-in. Um, it turned out fine. I came up with the number I needed um, and we were still within budget within the four spending categories, even though I borrowed from the other categories in order to pay for everything. Um, going into the month of March, I feel confident and we should be secure and good. Um, also, we have, I have notes going on over here, so ignore that. But um, paycheck three is closed out, um, and that looks good. And we'll make money, mo money moves tomorrow when my husband gets paid, so look for that. Paycheck to paycheck video coming up um, for the 1st of March. I've already got the monthly budget up, and you'll see the difference between um, how I thought it was gonna be and what it actually is. So, and this is the balance forward number which means a lot of this money is actually going to my husband for his VA disability, or not VA, VA education benefits that he, the 250 up here, plus whatever comes in t uh, tomorrow combined, he gets to transfer that money. I know why it's still in my checking account. He is waiting for his Visa prepaid go card. Uh, he can't put money on it just yet. So he's working on that. Uh, that's why it's sitting in the checking account. But I will go ahead and put it in the budget where it's going to be transferred out. And he can transfer it whenever he gets the opportunity. <sighs> okay, we are doing good. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.